I've written a couple letters uh, to John Brennan, who's been put up for the CIA nomination. Um, I think it looks like the first letter was sent January 25th. So here we are into March, and uh, I only got a response when he was threatened. So here's a guy who the president promotes as being transparent and wanting to give a lot of information to the American people. He won't respond to a U.S. senator. How do they, they treat the U.S. Senate with disdain, basically? Won't even respond to us, much less the American people, when I asked him these questions. He finally responded only when his nomination was threatened. So when it came to the committee, and it appeared as if I had bipartisan support for slowing down his nomination, if he didn't answer his questions, then he answered his questions. It doesn't give me a lot of confidence that in the future, going forward, if he is... Uh, approved that he's going to be real forthcoming and real transparent about this. I voted for uh, three of the president's nominations, um, not because I agreed with them politically. In fact, I disagreed with the vast majority, but I disagree with the president on a lot of political issues. But I voted for his nominations because I think the president does get some prerogative in deciding who his political appointees are. I've chosen to make a stand on this one and not so much the person, but the principle of this. I have nothing personally against Brennan. I have nothing personally against the president. But I have a great deal of concern about the rights that were enshrined in the Constitution. I have a great deal of concern about this slippery slope of saying that, the, uh, that there won't be accusations, there won't be trials, that we will just summarily execute people and the question is will you execute non-combatants if he's not going to he ought to say so